hata Linduri yafanye nini bunge haina imani na yeye kama waziri wa kilimo so for me we won we won na mnajua kumekuwa na allegations hapa ya pesa dada yangu wa manyo huyu she was offered money 5 million alikataa akasema atasimama na wakenya na hata akawaambia hao majamaa walikuwa karibu wanapigana huko akawaambia hiyo pesa itawaletea kansa it is in public knowledge that these people wametembea hapo wakikula pesa lakini tunawaachia and questions have been raised surrounding the conduct of the national assembly special committee probing the impeachment motion against agriculture cs mythical linturi after it cleared the cs of any wrongdoing on monday linturi survived impeachment after the 11 member committee determined that the grounds of the impeachment motion were not substantiated seven of the 11 mps voted to save the cs after the committee presented its findings to the house on monday rari had a member of parliament or India Molo claimed to be aware of corruption among the members but the speaker Moses Wetangula dismissed the lawmakers allegations minority leader Opio Wandai on his part termed the committee's decision as a case of the house's decision being revoked by a group of seven people he urged parliament to refuse to recognize Linturi as the minister for agriculture until president William Bruto yields and dismisses the CS Kathiani MP Robert Mboe who was a member of the select committee alleged foul play saying key witnesses in the probe among them the principal secretary for agriculture were not summoned but Kenya Kwanza legislatures defended the committee's decision maintaining that the impeachment motions backers had not presented enough evidence to make the case for in Turi's ouster majority leader Kemani Shongwa poked holes at the impeachment motion saying it was laden with generalities and driven by feelings the decision of that select committee should have been subjected to validation of the whole house having said that honorable speaker there is um high, there is a higher moral responsibility honorable speaker on the part of the cabinet secretary and indeed on the part of the appointing authority following the overwhelming decision of this house last Thursday in a vote of 149 against 36 i don't think this matter should have even gone up to the select committee stage in more decent democracies the moment this house voted 149 against 36 to send mr linturi home the decent thing he should have done was to resign failure to resign who would have expected the appointing authority to sack him honorable speaker those two have not happened honorable speaker we are now back here today we are back here today to continue from where we left last Thursday Honorable Speaker, I want to persuade my colleague members not to give up, regardless of what the, the minority of seven members have decided. Honorable Speaker, against all the available evidence, all the available evidence, the minority of seven members who have decided to let the cabinet secretary scot free, this house must remain firm. This house must remain firm and assert and assert its authority. Honorable Speaker. I dare say that following the vote of last Thursday of 149 against 36 this house will be in its rightful place to resolve not to have any dealings with the cabinet secretary Medika Linturi honorable speaker this house has got the sovereign power on behalf of the people of, the, of this country to decide not to recognize Medika Linturi as a cabinet secretary in this government Honorable Speaker, regardless and despite the the resolution of the minority of four of of, of seven, Honorable Speaker, the minority of seven have actually brought this house to shame, if I may say so. You have brought the authority of this house into disrepute. They have actually made us become a laughing stock in the eyes of the public, and therefore to re to remedy remedy that that anomaly. To remedy that anomaly, honorable speaker, I would be actually right. I would be in order to persuade this house to to decline, to refuse, to refuse to recognize Medika Linturi as cabinet secretary from now going forward, and to continue to urge the appointing authority 
who is the president, to take the most logical step and sack this cabinet secretary, if only to save this country from the kind of ridicule it has been subjected to. With those very remarks, Honorable Speaker, I reject and I oppose. Thank you.